anything can happen in motocross. <laughs> and I feel like this year we've seen everything that could have happened. I say it, I don't always mean it, but this year it Crazy. has happened. I just judge everything off of that. Your dude, your top rider team. Take this work to knock level down here in Bermuda. His way with a bad first lap, but his teammate Fortner still there in third. RJ Hampshire seven. Yeah. Oh, oh Fortner! Fortner throws it away. And I cannot Kawasaki believe it. Day. Yes, <laughs> it's happened again. This is this is three of the last four races where we've seen Fortner in a great position, at least for a podium, and then he ends up with a huge crash. Yeah, he goes to soak up the jump, and then watch just touches the front wheel, and we've seen that so many times because it's almost like a slight step up. See how everyone else does it. Watch Faulkner's front wheel. Clips the top there, and then it shoots it back. Oof. Ooh, he hit his head hard. Yeah, he hit the ground pretty good there. Mm. That rider in the way. Marchbank swings it wide. Shimon up the inside. Lapper got right in the way. Help Marchbanks on that one. Oh! Joe Shimon is down! Over the bars! He's under the motorcycle. You see the Alpine Star medic crew running out. Yeah, it looked like he tried to scrub that double right there. Yeah, watch what happens here. He's gonna try to scrub the jump, and oh. as he did that, looks like his foot caught the takeoff of the jump, ripped his feet off of the foot pegs. It's trapped under the motorcycle. He was gonna go for the pass on the inside, and he did that. Foot clips the takeoff, rips him off the bike. Down he goes. Max Anstey, big jump into the corner, drops it down the inside, keeping an eye now, he's got the momentum. Do better just to carry that corner speed. Tottenham is probably always going to be on a hiding spot. Oh. 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 oh! It looks like his... Oh, oh Max. Oh. Anstey goes down big. He's going to pick himself up, though. Yeah, round of applause. It, just, it was almost a big save, but it was almost a big crash. Look at that. Oh, it just caught a rough. Oh, hand off the handlebar. Couldn't quite get it on, look. Oh. Just looks painful just to watch it again. Oh. I think he scrubbed too much then. Just caught the peg. Yeah, I just caught the peg. Doubles are off. He's fighting with everything he has to hold Sexton off. They almost collide. Where? A down hard at the finish line. I think they did make contact. I think that's what caused it right there. I think the wheels just came together and Cooper Webb gets the raw end of the deal right there. Watch this. You're going to see the rear wheels touch right there oh. and then see what happens to Webb. So they went for what we call scrubbing it, but in the same direction, which is usually not common. And I'm surprised Sexton didn't get affected at all. And Cooper Webb's bike just ends up smacking that sprinkler. Watch this here. Whoa. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Tell you what, all due credit to the flagman there. He was quick to respond. Davy in the mix, some good battling in this 125 uh, West Brian. Some good riders in here. Our second place rider, that's Jimmy Nelson. That's the guy Lockridge is worried about for the championship. Jimmy Nelson scrubbing some. Whoa. Oh my! Oh my God. Oh, Nelson. These guys, they want to scrub height. They do that. Funky body English oh. off the jump to stay low. You know, I've not seen that happen in a long time where a guy scrubbing puts himself face down. Oh. Just, oh, classic high side. That has got to hurt, even with the body armor on. He's up, top notch paramedic staff here. <laughs> he looks okay. Rip the left. Is Cartwright going to hold on? One more wall jump. Oh, oh man. Oh, he went for it. Where he's going to. Absolutely send it over this wall, crossing back over the track. That was a nice scrub right there. Oh. That's when the scrub goes oh. wrong. Oh, yeah. he's bombing, hey. punches the top lock. But Wyndham's not done on this final lap. Could Wyndham, Wyndham make the trying to make a run out of here? Can he make a charge? Oh, oh Wyndham the over the bars! Wyndham was coming right after him and goes over the bars. Kevin Wyndham is down. Steam pouring out of his Honda. Watch Wyndham. He tries to scrub this. He wants Stewart. Clips his foot right there. That puts him into an endo situation. And the bike totally crunches him. Yeah, his, his right foot, he scrubbed the face of that triple so hard, so far over. Wow, that was a tough one. Mm. 
look like bar pads come flying off the bike. Now this is an opportunity for him tonight, Ricky. If he can keep things going well, it's going to be a wonderful evening. This was earlier in practice having just some minor issues. Yeah, and we're going to talk about it all night long and the ruts going up the face of these jumps. Jeremy Van Holbeek there in green on the CLS Kawasaki. He is in uh, sixth position. Oh, that was... Oh! And I was about to say, that was a very, very close jump there for uh, Van Holbeek and Simpson. He started to scrub the bike off just to try and keep it nice and low. But the problem is he's got on the landing. And I'm sure we'll see a replay of that. Here we go. He scrubs and he's hanging off the bike. It's a little bit greasy on top. He didn't quite get over the top of the, uh, the downside. And the back end came around and just swung around him. And then eventually he loses the front end in the dirt. That could have been so much bigger for Jeremy Van Horby. Just looking down at the front end, it's all a little bit bent and buckled down there. Problem is, he could have probably stayed out. Sexton up to third. So now, can he go with Jet? You do not want to let the 18 of Jet Lawrence get too far ahead. If you do, it's so incredibly tough to make up Ooh, that time. Oh, Sexton, I think he went down. He did. Oh, man. It'll be interesting to see what happened there if we have a replay of it because a lot of these guys, when they're scrubbing, it seems like the ruts are dragging them to the ground like they're pulling the side knobbies of the tire. Oh, so he goes up the double. He goes to scrub, and he goes actually too low, and it catches his front end and whips back. He got off lucky with that one. See how it oh, grabbed wow, his front yeah. wheel and tossed him the other way? That was unreal. He got, he got away with one on that one. Handlebars broke. He is a very, very lucky rider right there, Paul's Jonas. Sliding up on the takeoff of the jump again. I think that's probably one of the most spectacular crashes we've seen. No! no. It was Martin's bike! No. That's who was down! I think we have it now. Let's Replay. take a look here what happens. He scrubs. Oh, he scrubs and he might have just got a little too loose and just flies off. Wow. Flies off the Yamaha there. He just tried to stay so low over this fly racing jump here. Oh, man. Frustrating for J Mart. Out in front, Rodney. Well, Zaremba going to make it hard to beat out there. He has shown us some speeds all day long and even in the early part of uh, this one. Switching lines once again. Look at that. Now Phil back to the inside line playing that defense smart. And now Nicoletti swinging on the outside here. Interesting. Wow. Line. Try it. Whoa. Nicoletti off the track. No. Something just happened to Phil Nicoletti. No. Oh, my God. Phil Nicoletti having a full wrist. He's broke his oh wrist. Oh, no. He has broke his wrist. Look at his back. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Look at that. Oh Unbelievable my. end of this motor right now. Here's a slow-mo of this incident. Just scrubbing that. That's the rear wheel. The whole oh. frame and everything landed right on the back of Phil Nicoletti right there. That was the motorcycle. We got to get a slow-mo of that one. Phil Nicoletti is 100% DNFing and out of this race, going to see the medical crew. Oh, no. His wrist is broken. What an unbelievable end of this photo. Phil Nicoletti is out. His, His fingers, fingers are broken. Hand. Wow.